Hey guys, I uh, I promised the other day that I would show you my favorite uh, forearm care trick for muscle ups, rope climbs, handstands, intense grip work, whether that be farmer's carries, fat grip work, um, hanging from fat bars, any of your hanging stuff. If you just start to get the, um, the cranky wrists, elbows, anything like that, which I have before, especially when I started to do more false gripping. This part of my elbow is just lit up at the insertion point. Um, and I had this, the stick, and I had it basically for leg stuff, like IT band and calves and everything like that. But then I realized that if I anchored it down under one leg and then anchored this arm, or pin this arm, excuse me, between the stick and my my leg that I could really, whew, hear my voice change a little bit, mash and smash everything out. Um, I take a lot of care to go the full length of the muscle. You can kind of see my fingers dancing a little bit. That's because it's what's attached to my fingers. Uh, as I go, I just whoa, get crankier as I get here. Once I've thoroughly done that side, then I can anchor it on underneath the other leg and get the back. Whoa. Here. So I found this to be a really, really good trick. Like when I first started doing muscle ups, I uh, got to a point where I couldn't even barely hold on to a 10 pound weight because it just hurt so bad. And I was like, ah, I might have a problem, maybe. So this is what helped me with that. I would get both arms. So I'll do that and tell you a little bit about what's going on. I have um, my Edo program now, um, and now I've got to submit examples of me doing it, so that's just uh, another part of the process. I'm getting better at uh, video editing using the YouTube editor. There might be an easier way. If you guys know of an easier way, please tell me, because I'm just doing titles and edits and everything like that, but it's still a little bit past my scope. Um, so I did half of those today, and I'll do half tomorrow. I bought a rope from Rogue Fitness. I bought that last night when I got my program and realized I was going to be some doing some uh, like a single arm rope chins with like one hand lower, one hand higher. Um, I was like, I don't have a rope. Um, for today, to do my test, I just hung a battle rope over the rafters of a, a building I have access to, and I just did them there, tied it up nice and tight with a slip knot, and went crazy. But in the future, I'll have a six foot rope rope that I can take anywhere with me, like playgrounds, hang it off the rack, hang it anywhere I want to, which will be really helpful, because. Uh, being mobile helps when you're uh, doing a program like this. You're not just stuck in the gym. Like I'll be going on a cruise in July to Bermuda and I'll be bringing my trusty wooden rings and my rope with me so that I can still train. And I'm pretty excited about that, like an excuses free training program. Um, it is day 11, I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm pretty stoked that even at day 11, I'm just kind of creeping up to the start of actually starting the, the program. Um, the full phase one, but I'm um, even learning in these parts of the process. So I hope I can share more about what I'm learning. What I'm learning right now is that uh, I've done some work with my gymnastic strength. Uh, some things that are lacking are single leg balance and some of the mobility, like the straddle, the seated straddle is just a, a miserable, terrible thing. And then the um, single leg good morning sort of beastly as well, but they're part of the program and I'm going to get good enough that I'm crushing them too. Hope your training is awesome. Hope again that you're sharing your gift with somebody, even if you're not a coach. If you just share it with one person, you'll be making a difference. I'll talk to you guys.